Hey guys, what's going on? Accurate here. Welcome to Storm Chasers. Fun little game I picked up for $12.99 on Steam. It's been in development since 2019, but I happened to see another YouTuber play it, so I was enthralled by it. Being that I live in Ohio and we've had our fair share of tornadoes here lately, I uh, decided to play it. So let's go back. I, I think I made it three missions in. I'm going to go back to the beginning and share that with you guys. So a weak storm has been detected in a growing area. Remember that your car is in a workshop, so be careful. Objective five minutes. Score more than 200 points. Earn at least 20 points with one single photo. Time of day, afternoon, weather, light, light rain, no car, and uh, no probes. So there we go. And there is a leaderboard. So basically the object of the game is to either take pictures or place uh, weather instruments, scientific instruments, um, in the area of the tornadoes and do the best you can try to get the best photos and the best measurements. Now I never actually, I haven't used the, the weather tools yet, so that should be interesting, but try to get as close as possible to tornado to get more points for each photo. Plus you want to catch like debris flying around and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we've survived the cold. We've survived the heat. Now it's time to survive the tornadoes. So here we are at the farm. You right click, you bring up the camera and you can zoom in, zoom out. It's pretty cool. We have a uh, 20 out of 20 storage, which means we have 20 photos that we can take. So once we take 20 photos or the time runs out, then uh, the mission will end. But our goal is to try to accumulate more than 200 points with all of our photos together and try to get at least a one 20 point photo. So we're just gonna wait for this to develop here. There's not a whole lot to do in this particular one. This is just sort of like a little mission just to familiarize yourself with the game. So you can see the little dust devil appearing down here on the ground. That's uh, basically showing you where the path of destruction is for the tornado currently. And we can sort of see a little funnel cloud developing up here. It's, it's very faint, but uh, it will start growing here a little bit more and more. As time goes on here so we can get up close to this tornado don't want to get too close I want to get kind of close to these hay bales I know it will sort of come through this area uh, there is a free roam part to the game there's also online competitions and things like that going on with it so it's pretty neat it's fun it's definitely different that's that's what I really like about it. it's creative it's different and storm chasers you know a la twister and twister 2 always intrigued me mainly for their I don't know if it's bravery or stupidity maybe both but uh, there we go so we got a picture score at 20 we earned that uh, right there they give you little tips sometimes like hey focus more on the tornado uh, try to get the entire uh, funnel in the photo try to get more debris that sort of stuff to earn more points so it'll give you little tips so we're just going to stand here and kind of watch watch it come towards us. Now the biggest threat, we do have a health bar. We're not really health bar, but we have a health percentage down there on the bottom right. We're at 100% right now. You can uh, actually hail can cause, <laughs> cause you to get injured as well as uh, flying debris and things like that. So one of the, the most dangerous thing for about tornadoes is the flying debris. It's not actually the, the, the funnel itself. So let's see if we can zoom out here. That's going to be it. There we go. Visible debris. we got two going right there. That's pretty cool. These are some good shots. We'll just keep taking those. Alright, let's run up a little bit here. You know, move faster. Whoa. Move. I bet you if this hay bale lands on me, I'm dead. Oh, no. I got... Oh, no. I have never been sucked up in the tornado before. <laughs> is this what it really looks like? This is new. This is new. Maybe I could take some photos right now. That would be a dedicated... Oh, right on the pavement. Oh, man. 0% health. We're done. Oh, we died. Oh, cracked my skull right on that pavement. Well, that was a first. 
Yeah, 8,000th place. <laughs> That's about normal. So let's try again here. <laughs> Hopefully we do better. Oh my gosh. Well, no sooner did I say that debris was the biggest threat than I got sucked up by the actual funnel itself. So, so much for that. I was wondering if uh, running into those hay bales was going to uh, kill me, but apparently that wasn't what I needed to be really worried about. I needed to be more concerned about, the, uh, you know, the absolute power of this little tornado. That doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a tornado, but apparently big enough to... Suck little old me up into the up into the strat stratosphere and slam me back down. So I'm gonna do better this time. I'm gonna uh, try to maybe I want to get close, but I don't want to get that close. I guess I I honestly, given my last few playthroughs of this, where I've done the next mission and I didn't start the third mission. I only completed the second mission, which unlocked the third mission. I uh, got pretty close to him and uh, didn't have that issue. So apparently I just misjudged it. It might have changed directions. Tornadoes are notorious for suddenly changing directions. So you think you're safe over here to the left or whatever, and boom, it just comes right at you. So back in Ohio, we had a, uh, in one night, we had 17 of them roll through like a three, four, five county area the Miami Valley, the Dayton area and the surrounding counties. And uh, yeah, 17 all at once. It was nighttime. It was about, I don't know, I want to say about 8 or 9 o'clock at night. It was dark out by that time. Maybe a little later, maybe 10. But it, it caused some significant damage, that's for sure. That's 18. That's a 20. Okay, so there we go. We got our satisfied our uh, one of our objectives. But yeah, it caused quite a bit of damage. Um... Now that was scary at night because you can't see them. You're just basically going down to your hidey hole and whoa, that leaf almost got me. Going down to your hidey hole and hoping for the best. So we're gonna wait till this one starts throwing some hay bales so we get some extra bonus points for our. Uh... I'm trying not to get sucked up this time. It's the first time I died in this game. I. So much for being good at survival. Take one more. Oh, there we go. 21 points. Camera focus. Uh, yeah, I want to see what those bonuses are. I need to pay attention a little little more to that. Okay, there we go. We're going to start throwing some hay bales. Okay, I can feel myself moving around there. See myself sort of shaking. Okay, we need to move back. It's getting close again. I think I'm just going to try to take... There you go. 22 points. 18. 16. So it's not as good there. They like it a little bit closer. 18. 17. Thirteen. Not, not so good there. I wonder what part of the twister they, the whole whole, whole tornado is what they want. Okay. All right. So there we go. We used up all of our photos, and we completed it. We win. All right. So we're in two twenty six hundredth place, with three hundred seventy points. I don't know how Chris Key got twenty eight nine oh nine. That's insane. Heck, actually, any of these are crazy for me. I'm not. Apparently, I'm not that good. All right, we'll do uh, mission two now. So today, we only have detected a storm in a forest area. It could be difficult to take a good photo with all of those trees. Objective is five minutes long. Score more than 300 points. Walk closer to less than 328 feet from a tornado. It's in the afternoon. We have a car available. No damage to the car. Our fuel is off. Weather is clear. There's zero probes to fiddle around with. So this is where we're at now with the leaderboard. Let's get started. I think this was my last attempt on this mission. I don't think I have anything on this one. Yeah, nothing on this one. So I want to replay this one here and see if I can do better here. Hopefully I don't die in this one as well. That was interesting though. At least we know what that was like. We got that out of the way. Little Dorothy from Wizard of Oz going on there.
No, wait, was it, it was the witch, wasn't it? Gosh, it's been a while. It's been a long, long time since I've seen the boss. It's like a... Trying to figure out if this is a ram or if this is supposed to be a tundra. Can't tell. Doesn't matter. All right, so here we go. We have a map now available. This is a storm system moving in. Let's just uh, head on up this way. Got ourselves a little walkie. Now, you can play uh, internet radio through this, but I don't have any set up. You can go into a file and set that up. It has some pretty easy-to-follow instructions. I'm not going to mess with that right now because, to me, if you're storm chasing, you probably shouldn't be listening to, you know, Katy Perry or something. So we have four minutes here. You can see this cell developing right over here. Uh, wow. I think that building would be pretty. If it has a basement, that place is solid. It's all brick, it looks like. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna park, get out. The view's a little limited here, so let's take a look and see what we got developing. Can I see anything from here? Not yet. Let's keep moving forward a little bit. You can see down there the uh, little trapezoid or square or whatever it is. Sort of like the vector of the storm system. So we're sort of right about where it should come through. The problem is these trees. So I'm going to park right here on this curve. And it looks like our windshield wipers are starting to kick in because... Oh, here it comes. Uh oh, I don't like where I'm at, actually. Kind of makes me nervous. I'm going to back up a little bit. Probably catch this thing crossing the street, but you can see the dust being kicked up over here. I'm going to back up just a little bit here, get to this corner. And it wants me to get close to this thing. I don't really like that idea. I'm going to stay close to the truck in case I need to make a hasty retreat. It's, it's really hard to see which way it's going through these trees. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Make sure I'm not getting flanked by any wolves or bears or anything like that. Old habits. I hope he keeps developing this game. It's really fun. Or if he doesn't develop it, or she. Yeah, it could be a female, right? Of course. Um, they, <laughs> if they don't... How dare I assign a gender? Um, if they don't keep developing it, I hope so another company picks it up. Alright, it looks like it looks like we're starting to move this way. Across the street. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get closer with the truck. Looks like it's starting to move a little bit away from me. So let's get going this way. I don't know. Is it buffing in my truck around? Kind of. It actually kind of looks like it's coming at me now. It's sort of stalled right there, hasn't it? Oh, wow. Twenty-three points on that one. So I just need to walk there. I don't need to actually... Oh, oh, oh. I haven't got close enough yet. Okay, I got close enough. Oh wow, it tore the trees to pieces, didn't it? more good shots here. There we go. All right. So we completed that mission. We won. Eh, 421 points. Jason Lee Kelly smoked us with 1,200. Oh, well. Oh, well. What can you do? Just keep getting closer to those tornadoes. All right. 
Mission 3. A pretty big storm is forming above a small town. Expect high precipitation and strong winds. 7 minutes. Score more than 500 points. Place a probe in the path of a twister. Time of day morning. Heavy rain. Car is available. Damage is off. And we have one probe. Okay, let's try this now. I have not tried this one before, so who knows how this is going to work. Precipitation shafts are pretty dangerous as they hide possible tornadoes, but they also let you prepare for high precipitation. Of course, that what? Sure. All right, here we go. There's our probe. Let me make sure I know how to get to it here. Car trunk. That would be a truck bed. Take probe. Place it on the ground. And I have seen that it takes a couple seconds, like maybe five or ten seconds. Probably about ten seconds for that to uh, be installed on the ground. So you got to be a little cognizant of that. Okay, so what does it say? Tornado east of your position. Yeah, I got you. I can see that on the map. Which way is it traveling? Let's see which way it's tracking. I think it's tracking this way. Yep, it's tracking this way. So let's let's go ahead and start heading towards the town. Let's see if we can drop a probe. Maybe right in the middle of that town. Hopefully it goes right over top of it and we can get some good measurements out of that. So we need more than 500 points and we need to place a probe in the path of a twister. I gotta say, being a storm chaser would be pretty pretty fun job for me <laughs> anyway I don't know not during not at night though I wouldn't want to do it at night if I can't see what's about to kill me uh, it's like swimming in the ocean where you can't see what's below the surface I want to be able to see what's floating around down there bumping into my legs and whatnot like oh that's just a friendly little jellyfish I think I'm gonna Let's see here I don't know that storm center looks like it's back a little ways. Let's let's see how this develops. Exit my car here. We'll just keep an eye on things here for a minute. We got time. Oh. Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> Is that my camera? Let me see what that looks like. There's one thing creepier than a tornado. That shadow. I wonder if you can fill up with fuel. I don't know. Yeah, probably, right? It's an interesting fuel station, though. We're not making much off of concessions. Okay, where the heck is this thing? Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. It's right in front of us. You guys see it? I'm pointing at my screen, but you guys can't see where my finger is. That doesn't help you at all. And we're getting hit by hail. All right. Let's get inside. Okay. I'm going to put my window over here so we're protected. Our uh, health did go up. It is going up. It's ticking up slowly. Let me see the path of it is, is it heading south a little bit. Let's keep an eye on the Doppler here. Oh, cool. This is a weather alert. Oh, it's exactly like it, too. They nailed it. Oh, look, the windshield's cracking. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. I need to get one of those for my house. Long overdue. I might order one after this game, actually. Take a peek out here, see what's going on with it. My gosh. Oh, it's behind us. Okay, hold on. We need to We need to move back. Oh, is it coming through? It's coming through this area right now. Okay, it's coming now. We need to get the probe out. We need to get the probe out. No, we need to get the hell out of Dodge. Is 
I think we're going to get our photos. It is tearing things up. Oh no! No! Oh, we got too close. <laughs> there we go. Are we gonna land soft? Land soft. <laughs> tuck and roll, man. Tuck and roll. No. No. Had we not taken that hill damage, we would have been all right. We'd have been all right. All right, let's play again. <laughs> this is too fun. Obviously, this isn't gonna be a ten. 20 episode series at this point, but this is just incredibly fun. All right. We've already read that little tip. It didn't help us survive at all, but that was awesome. So I have a, I don't know if they go in the same areas or if they change. It would be awesome if it never went the same direction twice and sort of had its own little random RNG path. Now this is where RNG would be. This is where you need to use it in games, right? Tornadoes. All right, let's get into the area. I'm going to put it, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and put it right down, right where we saw it ripping up everything. Just past the gas station, probably the second or, yeah, probably right in the second house past the gas station here, past that intersection. So, that's the goal. It looks different, doesn't it? This does look different. I'm still going to put it here. We can always pick it up and take it somewhere else if need be. But I'm going to say that it looks like it's probably going to vector. But yeah, this storm looks completely different. So I think, I think we'll put it right about here. Yeah, let's do that before the hail starts. Might save us a little bit of ouchies. Take the probe. All right. It's crazy to think that this thing would actually withstand being in a tornado, but apparently it can. Okay, whoa. Let's let's get inside here. Now I don't want to run over my probe. It looks like it might be vectoring a little bit north of me. If it does, we'll come back grab the probe and try to get it in front of it here. Let's see where. Alright, let's take a peek out here till the hail starts, then we'll get inside. Keep an eye to the sky, folks. Eye to the sky. Could sit in here and just wait for that weather alert to happen, right? And there's our uh, little icon for Okay, so the hail has started. So I'm going to turn here. Kind of get... I think this side window is my best vantage point. For the tornado. That one was vicious. It was ripping up privacy fences, houses, everything. There was so much debris in the sky. I was getting some, what, 50 point photos there? Has it started breaking our windshield yet? This poor truck. My insurance company. What do you do for a living, Storm Chaser? Screw you. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting some points for some for the weather reading. I think. Okay, there we go. There it is. Means it's getting close. Okay, I think I see it right there in front of us, right about where the E was. Right, right about there. It looks like it's coming through. Back up. Yep, that's it. That's going to be it. There it is. So we are getting weather readings. Okay, now I just need to be a little more careful about my proximity to these tornadoes. I keep getting sucked up into them and tossed, you know, four counties away, which isn't fun. This would be kind of cool in VR, right? This would be awesome in VR, actually. Alright, so we're ripping up the houses here. Alright, 
we're gonna just kind of stay ahead of this sucker. Pop out, snap some pickies. Alright, let's see what kind of photos we can get here. 57, that's pretty good. Now that's the hail hitting me. I'm gonna try to exhaust my photos as fast as I can. Oh, those are 60 points. When I zoomed out, I got 60. And it looks like our probe's gonna be perfect. I should move away from here. Let's move forward. Oh, I can feel my truck being moved. Oh man, it's tough to drive. It's tough to drive. Oh wait, behind me. I got out of my truck weird. That was that threw me off. Oh, I'm still getting 55s on those? It's because it's it's hidden right now. Oh you hush. I just want to end this one. Okay, we got all the objectives now. I think we just need to run out the clock. Do we need to go back and get the probe? Maybe that's what we gotta do. Yeah, probe is scoring us some big points there. Let's see what happens with it. Looks like, oh, that's not good. I thought damage was off. Definitely have soft tissue damage. I need an MRI. 76% health. We're getting beat to hell on this one. Pull into the ER. What happened? Well, I was out storm chasing. Okay, say no more. Okay, I think I think it's past us. So we're going to go ahead and move forward a bit here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's right there. It's right there. It's wreaking havoc on, on our friends over there. I think I can go get my... I can probably go get it. Let's go get our probe. That poor house. Oh my gosh. Am I getting hit inside the car? This truck's getting ripped around here. I wonder if I need to get the probe. Let's see. I don't think I have to, but... There we go. We got it. I would say that would be mission accomplished. That was uh, a bit scary when it... Oh, no. Run out of road. It's a bit scary when it was about to suck the uh, truck up. All right. We did it, guys. We won! Yay! How do we do? Oh, 82. We're in 82nd place. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I wonder what we can do better to get... 4,126 points. How do you do that? I mean, how... <laughs> you follow behind it or something and get her... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I could get any closer because I was getting pulled around and about to, about to be sucked back up into it. Anyway, guys, I want to end this episode here. So we're, uh, what, four, four missions in? We're on the fourth mission. And in the next episode, we'll complete the rest and we'll pretty much leave the series at that but uh yeah this is just a little bonus series for you guys hope you enjoyed watching me get murdered by a tornado thank you for watching like comment subscribe i'll see you in the next one y'all take care